I hope that everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving yesterday. It was awesome. I had family over, and it was really hard to even record anything because some news came out yesterday, and it was very exciting news for Black Ops 4. And like I said, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. You know, tell me in the comment section below if you're thankful for anything, if you're thankful for Call of Duty, your parents, you know, your job, your kids, your wife, or whatever. You know, just let me know in the comment section below. But as of today, I am late as hell. And um, I actually want to talk about this topic because some people do not like this. You know, and I feel like these maps actually look pretty good. Now, you know, yesterday, uh, Charlie Intel has posted some leaked maps that was data mined basically on the PC. You know, you can go into the files of or the coding of Black Ops 4 or whatever on the PC. I'm going to leave that to the hackers and people that do the data mining and stuff like that because I have no clue how to do that but so they went into the files and they found these two maps it is firing range nighttime which looks absolutely great and then they got seaside sunset where it's like raining beautiful maps beautiful maps right and some people are like really mad about this because basically we got a, like four or five remade maps and then they're taking a map that they made and remaking it into a sunset, basically just changing the weather, right? And some people don't like that. But I think it's very like cool that these maps should have day and night systems. A dynamic weather system should be on these maps. Every map that we play on should not always be sunny, cloudy, or rainy. It should always be different when we load up to the maps. Now, if you played World, World at War, it had uh, making day and making night. So... If you played that back in what 2008, <laughs> like you you would know what I'm talking. It was a free download. It was a great map. I love the map. Make it day needs to make it return, and it was it was fun. But now since they're doing it now in Black Ops 4, people really don't like that. They want new maps. They're ready for DLC one. Nothing has leaked for DLC one, so I'm not even going to get on that topic at all. And people still feel some type of hate towards the tier system. Now the topic that I just talked about. You know, with new maps being made or just changing the system or the weather system in the map, you know, it's all fine and good. But, you know, you can't really make those maps and not have new ones come into the game. You know, even if it's not with the DLC, you know, maybe like a month, like one month you might add like two maps or in the other other month you might add one map. You know, stuff like that makes it fun. Just changing the weather system in the map or just change it from night to day or adding rain it's not really going to trigger a lot of people's happiness you know but like i said dlc one is on the way i know a lot of people was like oh my gosh i'm bored already i don't like i don't like this some of the maps in the game are trash i'm ready for new maps people are ready for dlc one right and i definitely understand that but we might have to wait till next year or we might even get news on dlc one in december so we, can, we don't really know, you know, at this point, but I do have something else to talk about. This is going to be a short video. Um, Charlie Intel made an opinion post yesterday. Now, this is very rare for Charlie Intel, you know. They don't really like to get into a lot of arguments about Call of Duty's ups and downs, microtransactions, and stuff like that. But this says a lot. You know, when you're a trusted source in the Call of Duty community, everybody looks for your opinion. So when Charlie Intel posted the opinion post, it said... Special orders in Black Ops 4 Black Market are a ripoff. Now, I wasn't expecting this from Charlie Intel. You know, they try, they try to keep it quiet. You know, they try to keep it respectful and stuff like that. But when you have a trusted source like Charlie, and they said that the Black Ops 4 Black Market is a ripoff, it starts to get under your skin a little bit. It's like, man, why is Activision or Treyarch actually doing this to us? Why is the terror system so so grindy and why is it not rewarding? And a lot of people say Black Ops 4 is not rewarding at all. Like the end game, yeah, the camos and the grind for the camos and getting guns. But after that, it's like there's no end game reward. Like there's nothing. So people was even mad about that. So right now Black Ops 4 is in the shaky state. It really is with the Call of Duty community. And I just hope that Treyarch, Activision, whoever can just bring some some good stuff to this game i mean the game is great like the core element of black ops 4 is great but it is also annoying you know but i'm gonna bring another video on that 
as well. But like I said, Activision Treyarch, you gotta you gotta make these people happy. I know Black Ops 4, you know, was was halfway done. It was made 18 months ago, I think, and it was rushed. You know, and I understand that, but the Call of Duty community does not like to wait. And I feel like the tear system right now is kind of a ripoff. If you can adjust the, the points, the COD points, or actually getting, you can unlock a reserve chest or supply drop, whatever, in the tier system, and you can get COD points and stuff like that. Just make it a little bit more consumer friendly, because right now it's not. You have to do it. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm going to try to upload another video today. I always say that, and I never do. But I'm going to try, man. But this is your boy, Gunner Two Times, bringing you another video. Please like and subscribe and comment your ideas below. And I'm out, man. Peace.